assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to clinic management system tutorials today is our lecture number 16 and in today's lecture i'm going to demonstrate the further work on checkup window that is part number four in the previous lectures we have seen uh, uh, the further uh, the different tasks uh, re related to the checkup window okay and now uh, in today's lecture we will continue and do the database operations uh, with the our checkup window okay so let's have a look what we have today all right so uh, this is my checkup window uh, if you notice uh, after the previous lecture i have uh, in the previous lecture i have added the remove button and i have removed uh, the medicines uh, prescriptions basically internal or externally but you can notice here now I have added the remove buttons on my disease on my symptoms and on my uh, test uh, list box so let me demonstrate this also and I uh, I can uh, be uh, assuming that you can be able to do this by yourself but I will tell you the code no problem so look uh, if the doctor mistakenly added the cuff then the doctor can be able to remove once uh, it is selected so I hope it is clear to everyone. So remove button should be added at every uh, where where you have this list box scenario. So how I did that uh, just like the previous lectures but in the previous lectures I have added the hash table but here in remove I haven't added the hash table I have just selected the item and I have just removed from the list box that is disease and that is test if you notice and that is the symptom simple so uh, nothing special I have done so you can I am expecting from you people so that, to do it accordingly by yourself now after doing all this task we have to specify the database code so for that purpose let's come inside and uh, let's see do we have the procedures uh, or the, um, the, uh, the, the functions basically so let us close everything so that you can be able to understand what's going on so close everything okay close everything so that now you can be easily uh, understood what's going on at this point now that's fine everything is now closed so we don't have the save operation so what we can do we can go to the sample and come here and then copy this these all though this these all are not needed we only need the save operation right now so paste it and instead of virtual you have to make it overwrite in the current document and then that's it so uh, before save what I have done I have done a mistake yes I have put it outside the domain so I have to make here at this part that's it okay now that's fine close this all now I have the save button but uh, what do we have to validate at save button we have to validate uh, whether the disease LB is empty or not whether the internal medicine is empty or not so we have to uh, make sure that you have added everything inside these uh, particular list boxes so um, right so uh, we have multiple tables so step by step we can do the work the first thing that I'm going to use is using transaction scope that is not there so no problem right here transaction scope uh, SC equals to new transaction scope why I'm using transaction scope because so that my all tables uh, will work together and the data should be rolled back if in case of any error okay so uh, the, uh, from the database so my database will not get affected from the wrong data and now the first thing that we have to do is to validate whether we have the controls or whether we have the disease uh, inside the list box or not so for each um, specify the item inside the list item so string item in uh, list box that is the disease lb disease lb dot items okay so every item will be picked up and stored inside this item now what we have to do we have to uh, make sure that this disease exists in the disease table or not okay and then uh, let's go to the database and let me show you something that's my cms tables and here you can see the disease table first 
and you have the patient disease also so in the disease table you have to add the disease name and in the patient's disease you have to add the appointment id so where is the appointment id the appointment id is when i am going to select this patient i should load the appointment id of this patient okay so i will pick up that appointment id from there so let us come here and first verify that the disease exists or not so select all from diseases where disease where i let me write here d d dot name is equals to okay one more thing that i must mention here is the id is equals to at the rate disease id and then at the rate did but the problem is we cannot add the did because uh, the doctor can add the new disease as well so um, what can i write here create procedure st underscore get or you can write here check disease as specify the at the rate disease let's watch our 100 and then come here and then write disease and then all right so uh, you have to specify here disease name uh, and then uh, whatever the disease name the based on that date uh, based on that disease name uh, the disease will be uh, picked up and then uh, we'll see uh, the further work so execute commands completed successfully uh, now what you can do you can come here and uh, create a function inside the crude module that we have inside the software now uh, at this point i am going to create a global function for check existence so check existence public void check existence and then come inside and apply the try catch blocks and then uh, specify the procedure that is a string proc so this is the dynamic work guys uh, you have to be very careful while when you are creating dynamic tasks so uh, this my st st procedure and then you need a hash table so hash table ht and then come inside and then write sql command cmd is equals to new sql command and then specify your procedure then your connection okay so cmd dot command type is equals to command type dot stored procedure cmd okay for each dictionary entry dictionary entry item in specify your hash table for parameters and then cmd dot parameters dot add with value and then specify ht dot key sorry items item dot key and comma dot two string should be there because that's parameter and then item dot value so that the value will be picked up and then that's it and then after that you have to write here main class dot connection dot open and then specify the connection close and then copy this connection close and paste it inside the catch okay and save and then come here and then specify sql data reader dr is equals to uh, cmd dot execute reader and then specify if dr dot has rows and that's the thing that we need and write here boolean and specify a variable of boolean type boolean check equals to false by default and then specify if the dr dot has rows then uh, check is equals to true that means the data exists else you can specify check equals to false okay that means the data is not exist and now you return that check so return 
check simple and now that's a global function for checking uh, any tables data so check existence so now come here and rebuild your crude module okay rebuild it now uh, rebuild is started and rebuild is also succeeded now what's next step uh, we have to come here and check uh, whether the disease exists or not so we can write here if crude dot check existence okay we have to make the static function because I haven't public static okay save it and then rebuild once again rebuild it and then come at this point and write here now check existence and now what it is asking you is the procedure so the procedure name is check disease copy it and then paste it all right so we have to create a hash table before this so hash table ht um, h is equals to new hash table and then you have to add here the parameters that h dot add and then come inside and then specify the parameter that is disease copy and then come here and paste and then the disease so where is the disease so disease is inside the, the item so now uh, you can specify here h and then uh, close the bracket now it will check whether the item that you pass here exists or not if it, ex it, if it, ex if it exists then uh, you do not do anything and if it does not exist then write here this reverse condition so if the disease does not exist then you have to insert the disease so crude dot uh, insert update delete and then what it is asking me it is asking me the procedure for insert inside the disease so let me copy this uh, parameter uh, sorry pro stored procedure name programmability and then insert disease that's my uh, procedure right click modify copy this st underscore insert disease and then paste and then specify here the hash table for the disease for, with the disease that you have added so that's my this hash table and if I'm not wrong then I can use this hash table every time uh, for every disease okay so D I S E A S E D I S E A S E the same parameter name is and now you can use this uh, here so H okay so the same hash table I have passed and if the disease does not exist it is added inside the disease table and it should also be added inside inside the patient disease table so let me show you that uh, patient disease table but here we need the appointment ID of the patient so from where we can get the appointment ID let us select the patient and let us load the appointment ID on the button click so on the button click we are getting the patient ID we are getting the turn number we are getting the patient info so what we have inside the patient info inside the patient info we are getting the patient guardian and age we can also get the appointment details of that patient all right so we have to pick up the patient's appointment id for that purpose let us go and create a procedure create procedure st underscore get patient appointment ID so which appointment ID it should take it should take the last appointment ID okay so as do we have this uh, stored procedure already let us check get patient appointment registration guardians no last patient ID we don't have any appointment okay procedure so get patient appointment ID as select from patient appointments uh, where is that patient registration patient appointment PA and you can specify pa dot patient registration appointment id as appointment id from pa where uh, pa dot patient id is equals to at the rate pat id and here you can specify at the rate pat id that is big integer okay and then the next thing is the date uh, so the date should be there 
but one thing that I must specify is the date and then specify in fact of date instead of date you can write here day integer comma at the rate month integer and at the rate year integer and then that's it so patient ID and you can specify day and specify pa dot date is equals to at the rate day and month because I have taken time also that's why I'm splitting my date inside the uh, parts so date is equals to at the rate month and is and uh, year and specify pa dot date is equals to at the rate year so based on this date on this patient ID pick up the patient ID and specify uh, the top one patient ID and you can be okay one more thing that you can do is uh, one patient can have one ID per day okay so select patient ID appointment ID based on the patient ID and then that day and month let us go to the user interface and check you can we have to pass other parameters as well um, the date is there the patient ID is there and uh, we should not uh, take anything else right so that's it so get patients ID appointment ID so copy and execute commands completed successfully so we have to take care that one patient can take only one appointment per day okay now uh, do the code all right so uh, at this point now we have to get the data of the appointment okay so copy this code inside this checkup window and paste it below and change its name to in, in get patient appointment id patient appointment id okay and then specify here the procedure that is this one okay and then paste it and then you have to pass the parameters so instead of this remove this all no one thing that is patient id yes so patient id is there so you can write the same and then copy and come here and paste and paste now after patient id we need day month and here so copy and paste and here you can specify at the rate day at the rate month and now at the rate year so where you can pick up the date from here date time picker one so come here and write date time picker one dot value dot day and then copy paste and then paste and here you can specify month sorry uh, date time picker dot month and then that should be year okay so these are the five parameters that are in this particular stored procedure now the appointment ID should be there but one thing that you can do you can uh, come here and remove this code and you, in fact you can write here you can write here private integer 64 and then specify an integer variable integer 64 appointment ID equals to 0 by default and here you can write appointment ID is equals to convert dot to integer 64 and then specify dr sorry cmd dot execute scalar so that the one value will be picked up dot two string and then round brackets and then semicolon okay why I have used two scalar because I am only fetching the appointment ID on that particular date okay and you can use the top one clause if you are uh, having trouble so uh, the last appointment ID will be picked up for that so I think I should do this top one so that you can be uh, relaxed 
that the data is coming only once so order by pa dot appointment id descending so the last id of that month of that particular patient will be picked up i hope it is clear now that's fine so only one record will be executed commands completed successfully and now you have to return return what the patient id appointment id sorry appointment id okay so you have picked up the appointment id and now you have returned the get patient appointment id now where you have to pass this appointment id let us go to the save button at this particular point uh, after inserting the disease you have to insert uh, the patient disease again and again so for this you don't need this check okay in fact you come here and you can add the disease so how can you add the disease um, crude dot insert update delete and now do we have the stored procedure for insert patient disease no we don't have so let's create a new query and create a procedure create procedure st underscore insert patient disease as and now the parameter name are at the rate appoint appointment id that is big integer and the disease id and the patient uh, no no patient id is not there so disease id okay so disease id and then it should be integer and then come here and write insert into patient disease values you know, specify app id and at the rate disease id okay so now it's fine um, you have to execute but we have to validate that uh, the disease no 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 everything is fine execute this procedure insert patient disease cop come here copy and then simply paste it and now it is asking you the hash table so hash table patient disease ht is equals to new patient disease new hash table and then patient disease ht dot add and then what you are going to add the parameters that are this one app id and you have this also so copy and first copy this one and paste and here you can specify this disease id and then paste okay and here you can specify the app id so how can you get the appointment id so the appointment id is picking up from this get patient appointment id so you can come here and you can specify get patient appointment id so get patient appointment id and then that's it okay so and now semicolon and then the disease id so where is the disease from where you can get the disease id that's a one but that's a challenging task let me show you let's say if the doctor has selected a disease okay so the disease are coming from the database so the selected value will be there but if the disease is written by the doctor by it, by himself then what you can do uh, you can pick up the disease id and then you can do that uh, particular uh, thing so what you can do you can um, okay check existence if the disease does not exist that means uh, you are adding the disease for the first time so the disease is inserted now if the disease is not uh, if the disease is inserted now we have to pick up the disease id so how can you pick up the disease id so you can insert you can pick up the disease id with the help of the disease name so you can do what you can okay so you have to pick up the disease id because 
when you are inserting a new disease then you don't have the disease id to, to be inserted inside the next table so what we have to do we have to come here and we have to create a procedure that is create procedure st underscore get last disease id as select from diseases d and you can write here d dot id as id okay and then come in the end order by uh, d dot id descending and you have to write here top one so the last disease id uh, will be picked up and you can specify also where clause so you can write here where uh, there is no need to get uh, specify the where clause because soon after insertion insert disease you can you are getting the disease id okay so let us uh, remove this where clause okay and now that's fine and then uh, create this get last disease id and now what you can do after insertion soon after insertion what you can do insert integer 6 integer 32 or normal integer disease id is equals to crude dot get last id and now the procedure so the procedure is this one and now paste and because it is returning object so convert dot to integer 32 in convert sorry uh, where was that yes convert dot to integer 32 bracket open and then that's it okay so what will happen uh, so get last id is the method that i have already created so in the previous lectures i have already demonstrated this get last id so previous lectures okay not the previous lecture so get last id uh, of the disease and it will be stored inside this and when the last id of the disease will be picked up then what you can do you can uh, come at this point cut it or what you can do you can you can you have picked up this now what you can do you can insert it inside the disease patient table so hash table is there look why I am doing this code inside this let me tell you once again if the disease does not exist the disease is inserted then the disease ID will be picked up and then you have created this and then that app ID will be picked up and then uh, you have the disease ID so now disease ID inside the disease variable disease ID variable okay and now uh, what's next that you have to insert appointment ID and disease ID that's it so this is how you can be able to insert the di patient disease patient disease hash table but what if if the disease exists what it is saying expected semicolon okay what if if the disease exists let me write here else if not exist then do this but if exists if the disease exists then do not insert the disease uh, in fact write this same code or you can do what one thing yes integer sorry make a variable here integer copy paste and then remove this and then come here and then write here and then you can specify the disease id by selecting the value so um, disease combo box <coughs> dot selected value dot to string okay so the id will be picked up with the help of this uh, when you are not in the insert mode so the disease id will be picked up and then this should be removed from here and pasted here so that the code should not be repeated okay 
so whatever the appointment id it will be picked up whatever the disease id it will be picked up whether the disease exists then pick up the last id uh, if the disease does not exist then pick up the last disease id in fact uh, otherwise pick up this id okay so uh, what can what can we do now the next step is save and what else we need to add here is there anything remaining is there anything remaining so that's guys uh, that's whole thing is for one particular area of this window that is the disease okay and this code will run uh, for as many number of times as many diseases you have so for loop okay and this code will run for let me check once again let's say you have one disease so that's disease the disease checked and then it is inserted and then it is okay yes everything should remain in the for loop because if you have two diseases then uh, it should insert in the patient disease <coughs> now what we can do we can come here and start and check for demonstration what is happening bill succeeded okay login check up and now let me add uh, diseases so where are my disease okay view I have only cuff and now I have here fever and then save and now go back and then check up and now because I'm only dealing with the disease right now so disease is added fever is added and now I'm adding some uh, different tasks let me write here um, headache okay so headache is there now uh, there is one problem guys uh, what that is do we have the ID based on this combo box or are we getting from the list box let us verify that so every time when this loop is run, uh, running disease LB list so you can check the item then you can insert that item okay and then uh, I think everything is fine the last disease ID okay the disease ID is coming from this the last one that's fine and now yes that's the problem uh, how how you can be able to pick up the disease ID from the list item so you have to be, make sure that there should be the list item so how you can specify that this disease ID okay when first time the loop will execute let's say you have two items in the list box okay the, uh, cough and fever so let's say both are existing so from the list box how can you pick up the ID so we don't have the selected value so what you can do you can alright guys so we have to change this thing uh, so what we can do we can get the disease ID based on the disease name that's the thing that we have to do so uh, what we can do we can come at this point so when we are adding the disease what we can do when we are adding the disease inside the list box so uh, we have to make sure uh, that we are going to add for in a hash table for the disease also okay so when you are pressing the add button basically you are adding the disease now what you can do you can add that disease along with its ID inside the hash table so you can write here hash table disease hash is equals to new hash table and then when you are adding disease hash dot add and now what you can add in the key the ID of the disease that is disease combo box dot selected value dot two string 
but the problem is guys uh, let's say the doctor has not that's the complex thing guys that's the complex thing because you are doing two separate tasks here one is the insertion of the disease when you are going to insert the disease then it should not be they should not be work, working at this point okay so it's better to do the simple task remove this and what you can do you can you can get the disease id based on the disease name simple at this point okay so do we have any procedure get disease id with respect to disease name so get last patient id diseases no we don't have so let's create create procedure st underscore get disease id with respect to name as select disease from diseases d where d dot name is equals to at the rate name and specify at the rate name varchar 100 and then you can write select d dot id as id okay so you are picking up the id with respect to the disease name so execute commands completed successfully and now uh let's go to the crude and we have the load list we have the get last id and here you can specify the hash table also so in fact of changing this i'm creating another function get id with respect to name let's say so you are creating a global function so get id with respect to name and then Okay, uh, there is no need to do this. Just go there and do here. So, um, what you can do, you can write here. Up, you can create a function at the top at this point. That is private void, or you can write here integer. Get disease ID, and then. come here and then try catch and then copy this whole code insert copy and then paste and it should become integer and write here did and return did okay and now here you can write get disease id with respect to name and then you have to pass at the rate name and nothing else so write here at the rate name and then you have to pick up the name so where is the name the name is inside the combo box of the disease disease combo box no uh, get disease id so you can write here string name and then pass here instead so whatever the name i will pass the the id will be picked up so the id and then <coughs> integer 60 32 and then cmd dot execute dot uh, scalar dot two string now it's fine so get disease id so what you can do now come at the bottom and at this place at this place what you can do remove this code and write here get disease id with respect to the item that you are passing in the loop okay so whatever the item you have inside the particular list box if the data does not exist of that particular item that it is inserted and then the last disease id will be picked up otherwise the item that is the disease that is already ex uh, that exists already the id of that disease will be picked up i hope it is clear to everyone one more thing that you have to check here that the disease name should be unique so so that you can be able to avoid the duplication issues so right click on your disease and design and then go to the table designer 
and then uh, indexes and keys so you have unique key and the unique key is the disease name that's fine the key, the key is created so that's it all things are now set now let's start and do this I haven't applied the success message because the work is not yet finished okay so login and then check up and then select your disease first cough add and fever add and I am writing your headache that is not in my database so let us check what is happening what will happen add and now click save look the conflict occurred in the database that is patient appointment the insert statement okay the insert statement conflicted with the foreign key okay 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 so three that means I have problem somewhere inside this particular table so let us go to the patient disease and alter it or check it edit top 200 rows look it doesn't have anything now we have to go and debug it so come here apply a breakpoint and now save it again now you have items let us verify these items the items are three okay and now hash table the item is cuff okay the problem is you have to rebuild first okay rebuild now let's verify again and let's also check the disease call table come here and right click the disease and dis sorry edit okay look so the data is inserted so I don't want you to insert headache right now remove this that's the thing that I have corrected now check up and now cuff and headache I'm only adding two things right now so that the debugging task is, is simple now I have two items the first item is cuff and now it check existence has rules yes okay come inside if the has rules is there then you can get the disease ID with respect to the name so cuff and the disease ID is picked up and now you are inserting the get appointment okay here you are getting the problem so what is the problem let us see at this part so we have identified that there is a problem so let us remove the breakpoint from that point stop the code and then come and rebuild it login check up one is tough and the other is headache add and then save come inside the data exists now get disease ID the disease ID is picked up now get appointment ID here you have to be very careful here you write exception okay the exception is still not I have added let me write here EX now it's fine put here the breakpoint and now go to the checkup and start okay log in check up disease headache 
add save okay everything is now working I am pressing F11 okay so the debug is going on disease ID is picked up and now the next is the get appointment ID okay so appointment ID is 0 by default get appointment ID things are going fine yes that's the problem I haven't selected the patient okay sorry for that let's start admin and then check up and then add and select the patient on 8th May because I have records on 8th May call the patient and now select the diseases okay add and then let me write here headache okay and let us go and right click and execute okay there is no data okay so cuff and headache and then save you come inside and then press F11 I have pressed I'm pressing continuously F11 okay then come inside and then look after that the get appointment ID here it should not show me the exception look the appointment ID is picked up and then appointment ID is returned and then the disease ID is added and now the crude operation for insert update so execute it step out okay so things are now done let us go to the database right click and execute so you can see a new disease is added though that is was not there and the existing disease is there already and now if you refresh it so look this on this appointment number that patient the disease two diseases are now added 104 and uh, the uh, disease ID 2 so I hope it is clear to everyone so how much efforts are required on this particular this area of the screen so the same task we have to do for the checkup for the symptoms for the prescription and all that so uh, I will continue in the next class now hopefully you have understood uh, how things are going on if you do not understand anything please do write me thank you so much take care Allah Hafiz